Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Kalistus from Papastibe.org and I'm your instructor for today's session. Today we're going to explore the installation and setup of CentOS 8 on VirtualBox. Without wasting much of the time, let's dive right in. So on my computer, I already have my Chrome opened up, so I'm going to click on it. So in my Chrome browser, I have two separate tabs here. Uh, the first one is pointing to CentOS um, official site, and the second one is pointing to Oracle Virtual Boss official site. So we're going to start the installation process from the download process, rather, from Oracle. So I'm going to navigate to my Oracle Virtual Box and click on Downloads. So on the download section, we have uh, different options to choose from. So uh, this option depends on the platform uh, you're working with. So I'm working with the uh, Windows environment. So I'm going to go for Windows host. So if you're using Mac OS, you go for Mac. If you're using Linux, you go for Linux. So I'm going to click on Windows host. So you're going to start downloading any moment from now. Let's give it a sec. All right, I think something is wrong. So I already have this uh, downloaded on my computer. So I don't really have to go through the stress of downloading this again. So we'll have to exit out. All right. So the next thing to do is to um, download sent OS uh, ISO file. So I'm already uh, in their website. So I'm going to click on download. And here we have uh, a couple of options here. But our major concern is uh, sent OS 8. So I'm going to click on sent OS 2. All right, so like I said, our major, major concern is uh, set OS 8. I'm going to click on 8. So we have here we have uh, three different architectures to choose from. So I'm going for x86-64. So uh, this page is actually uh, the list of mirrors that are um, in, from the nearest to you to the farthest from you. So I'm going to choose the first one here. So here uh, we have um, different options to choose from. So uh, we are going for the X64, X86, 64, uh, the, the, the one ISO. So I'm going to click on it. All right. So I already have these downloaded on my computer. So I don't really have to go through the stress of doing it over again. So I'm going to click on cancel. All right, so that's all we need for the uh, download. So I'm going to X out my phone browser. All right, so I'm going to navigate to the folder where I have all these packages downloaded. So I'm going to head to my Linux directory. And uh, I have my virtual bus and my CentOS ISO file right here. So um, I'm going to click on virtual box to install. All right, I'm going to click on next. So I already have this virtual bus installed on my computer, so I don't have to uh, choose any of these options here. So I'm going to click on cancel and yes and finish. All right. So the next step here is to click on or to uh, spin up your virtual bus, which I already have here. So I'm going to click on this. So uh, this virtual bus already have uh, some OS uh, already uh, in some, you know, some boxes here. So uh, uh, if this is your first installation or if this is your fresh installation, you are not going to see all these things. Okay, so yours will be blank. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new virtual box. So I'm going to name it server one. And um, here I will select my ISO file by clicking order. So this is my ISO file. So uh, this very part is actually where your ISO file is located. You're going to find your own. So my own is located inside our document Linux and Linux folder. So I'm going to click on it and click on open. Okay, I'm going to check skip unattended installation and click on next. So right here, we have our hardware configuration. 
So uh, I'm going to leave the RAM size as default and I'm going to increase the CPU. So this is actually recommended for those running Windows 11. Uh, it counters uh, some uh, errors while using uh, only one CPU. So I recommend that you increase it to two and uh, click on next. I'm going to leave this as default and click on next. And this is the summary of my configuration and I'm going to click on finish. All right, so I have my server right here. Okay, so the next thing to do is to configure my network. So I'm going to right click on this uh, icon, click on settings. So I'm going to navigate to my network tab and change this to bridge adapter. Click OK. So our virtual bus is set. Uh, so the next thing to do is to spin up our server. I'm going to click on start. So it's going to take some time to load up. Let's give it a sec. All right, so the reason why it's behaving like this is that I have uh, um, some other programs running on my computer system, so it's kind of slowing uh, the process down. All right, so we have three options here. Uh, we have uh, install sent OS 8, Linux 8, and we have uh, test this media and install sent OS on uh, Linux 8 and troubleshooting. So we're gonna go with the first option. So I will select it with my arrow key and hit enter. So it's going to take some time to load up the GUI. Uh, so I'm going to pause the recording and resume once it's done. All right, so um, it's still loading up. So we're going to give it a moment to load up the GUI. All right, so um, we have our GUI up. So um, I'm going to leave this as default, but uh, if you want to change the language, you can go ahead and select the language you prefer. So I'm going to go straight to the continue tab and click on it. Okay, so um, this is uh, where we uh, have to set up our OS. So we have uh, different options here to set up. Um, but our major concern is uh, the installation destination, uh, the network, and the user settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the installation destination. So I'm going to leave it as default and click on done. So the next thing is to set up our network. I'm going to click on network and boost. Okay. So right below, you see we have the root um, host name. So I'm going to click on it and set it to my server name, which is our server one. Of course, you can use whatever uh, uh, value you want, but uh, I'm going to go with server one. I'm going to click on apply. So the next thing to do is to switch on your internet. I'm going to click on this switch. Wait for it to connect. Okay, we are good. So I'm going to click on done. So the next stage is to set up the user account settings. I'm going to click on the root password. All right, and I'm going to type my root password. So um, this real password doesn't mean, meet uh, uh, the, the 
requirements. So I'm going to leave it like this because uh, this is just uh, for testing purposes. But if you are actually doing this in a production environment, you should use a password that is much more stronger. So I'm going to click on done two times. And uh, I'm going to click on user creation. And uh, I'm going to call my user user one. And I want to make it uh, an administrator. And also set up the password for the user. I'm going to repeat that here. And click on done twice. All right, we are done with uh, the configuration. So all these ones are left out is optional. You can decide to you know, configure them or you know, stick with the ones we have already. So I'm gonna click on begin installation, continue. So this is actually gonna take uh, some time to uh, load up or to install. So I'm gonna pause the recording so that uh, you don't get to wait for it. All right. All right, so um, our installation is complete. Uh, so I'll go ahead and uh, reboot the system. I'm going to click on reboot. All right, so it's going to take some time. So I'll have to pause the recording once again to, in order not to prolong the video. Okay, so uh, our instance is coming up. Let's give it a sec. All right, so the next step here is uh, to select license information. So I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna assess uh, license agreements and uh, click on done. I'm going to click on finish configuration. So let's give it a moment to load up. Right, so um, so the next step now is to log into the server using the user you created during the registration, or rather during the installation phase. So I'm going to click on user one. So I'm going to input my password and click on sign in. Right, let's try that one more time. It's coming up. Uh, so finally, we have our Saint OS uh, machine running on our virtual box and. Um, so uh, we can click on next here, click next, click next, and let's keep the remaining, uh, click on start building set OS Linux. We can X this out. So right here we have our machine up and running. So we can check our IP address by going to our terminal. So we can type IP space in. Sorry about that. So everything is working perfectly fine now. So we have successfully installed our set OS in our virtual box. So uh, thank you guys. Uh, so this uh, will be it. And um, if you have any question, please drop that in the comment section. And uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon to get notified whenever we drop a new video. See you next session. All right. Thank you.